Curvature combs give valuable insight to the curve of sketch entities, especially on splines. Much like curvature combs can be shown for curves like sketch splines and 3D curves, they can also be shown for faces. Multiple faces can be selected to visualize curvature over a greater surface area. Curvature curves can be toggled on or off for both the U and V direction. The density of the curves can also be adjusted independently for each direction. The Extend Across Face option extends the curvature combs a short distance to the adjacent face in either direction. This can be helpful in evaluating curvature continuity or curvature smoothness from one face to the next. For a surface transition with G0, or connected continuity, an abrupt change in the magnitude of the curvature is shown on the curvature combs. The direction of the curvature combs also changes abruptly. For a surface transition with G1, or tangent continuity, the magnitude of the curvature combs may change abruptly, but their direction flows smoothly from one to another. For a surface transition with G2, or curvature continuity, both the magnitude and direction of the curvature combs flows smoothly from one face to the next. It may be necessary to increase the density of the curvature combs to see this accurately. In this example, we can see there is a sharp increase in the curvature magnitude from the upper surface of the spoiler to the surface of the leading edge, indicating that there may be G1 tangent continuity, but not G2 curvature continuity. Curvature combs can work in conjunction with zebra stripes to help visualize the curvature of a part. Both tools give additional visual context into how a 3D surface will appear in the real world versus on a 2D computer monitor.